In this video, we're going to focus on the two dimensional arrays and what we're going to do eventually is how we can remove values from one of these specific arrays, add values to it at the very beginning or at the end, or remove values at the very beginning and at the end and playing around with these different arrays as well. So let's start to look how to add values in a two dimensional array in chart.js and what we're going to do here is first of all we need to get a boiler template so you can go here on chartjs3.com getting started this specific link which you can find as well in the description box so once you're on here scroll down and copy this boiler template copy this and if you want to understand this code watch this video here so then i'm going to just paste this in here cut this out put that there and put this all in here save refresh beautiful we have now a nice bar chart what I want to do is just maximize the size, just say 80%, say refresh. So it's nice and clear. So now what I'm going to do is, and this was the sample, it was a specific question. The person had multiple arrays, or basically a two dimensional array, which would basically mean that we have an array, and I will make some additional space here, like that. And then we have another array in here as well. Of course, this here can give you a conflict in chart.js because this might mean that do we want to have for example a floating bar chart chart.js don't understand this 100% so you get this error here so what we could do here and this was the question it came from a database so the database gives this output what do we do well first of all if you want to get it from a database and all that structuring I have a specific video about how you get data from a database and how you parse it which would make which would mean make it readable for JavaScript. So I have that covered. At the very end, I'll give you the link of it. However, this here just doesn't work. And we need to fix this one here. So I'm going to copy this. And the question was specifically, how do I add the value at this very item here? And that's just a JavaScript question or a more a specific array question. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this out for now. I'm going to say here constant, and let's call this our two di uh, dimensional array and then of course this should be a bracket and we put that all in here and i guess i already had these excess brackets so we don't need so many of these but a semicolon here and there we are all right so we have this here let's save this refresh nothing happens now what i want to do is i want to put in these values here so to do that of course we put in this here and this is basically an array within an array. So this array consists of another array. So if I want to grab this array here, all I say here is index number zero. If I save this, refresh, and all right, forgot the comma, make sure we have a comma here. And after this, save, refresh. There we are, this works, all right. So next what I want to do is if I do number one, save, refresh, all right. So now this works. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you, I'm going to remove the number nine at the very end. And we put this back on zero. So how do we add a number here or value in there? So you can see here now we're missing a value. So how do we do this? Well, all we need to do here, because we cannot do it within here. If we do it within here, we have a problem here with our array. So what we want to do is we want to make sure that's in here. And all we're going to do is we're going to say here, we grab this array value. And we're going to use dot push. And what this really does is it's a push method, which will push a value at the very end of the array. So which one do I want to push? Well, basically I want to push index number zero of this array, which is an array as well. So then I'm going to say here, let's say number 10. And if I save this and refresh, you can see here we get a value of number 10. Of course, we could do something else as well. If you want to do it at the very beginning, you can say shift. Oh, sorry, no, not shift, unshift. Unshift will add a value at the very beginning. So if I save this, Refresh, you can see here this is number 3, this is number 18, and this is number 10. So what I did was basically the number 10 will be moving at the very first value here. So if we want to remove number 18, what we could do here, we can say here, shift. Shift would mean removing the value at the very beginning. So if I save this, refresh, you can see here now we're missing another value or bar here, because the highest value now is number 12, and no more number 18. While well, it's in the array, but after this command, it disappears. Finally, we could also remove the very last value here. Then we need to do pop, like a bubble. It pops and it disappears the very last value. So if I save this, refresh, now you can see here, 
the very last value is not anymore what's supposed to be number 3. No, it is now number 9, or sorry, number 12. And number 12 is the one before number 3. So that's basically it. So let me just summarize this one more time. If we do this, let's say we do, sh uh, not shift, we're going to do here a push. It says add value at the end. Uh, remove value at the end. And then here we have uh, unshift. And finally we have shift. So unshift is add value at the end. And then here remove, oh sorry, not at the end, at the beginning. At the beginning. Here, remove value at the beginning. And that's basically it. Of course, you could do this one, two, and uh, see another arrays as well. So you can keep on doing that one. And, uh, well, you can see here, of course, it just triggers everything. And that's basically the core of this. Of course, there's another option where we can splice or slice the array. But those are maybe suitable for another video. So again, if you enjoyed this video, maybe you want to know then how do you get it from your MySQL database. In that case, I have this entire series I'm going to recommend you is to. It's about the Chart.js MySQL database series. We will show you exactly how you can create your database, grab the values from your database, make them readable for JavaScript, and then it will draw the chart as well. So this is a highly recommended video series that covers seven, seven videos covering every step in the process.